Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Holly. I'm a food and fitness content creator and today I bring you a little sit down video, a little chatty video. So I am coming back from a little week off. I do normally do like regular Sunday uploads and try to get a video up a week. However, last week was obviously birthday, Christmas and COVID week for me. Yeah, the triple threat, it was great. Um, I was actually originally gonna do a big like birthday slash like Christmas going home vlog, showing you guys what I got up to, like the festivities and things but the festivities were all inside and the birthday was inside and I was ill. So I kind of just decided to take the week as like a little deload week. Obviously couldn't go to the gym, so just let my body rest, let my mind rest, kind of step away from work for a little bit. And I feel so much better for it. I'm really glad that I did it. Um, obviously not glad that I had COVID. That is obviously not ideal at Christmas. I know a lot of people are in the same boat though. So it kind of made me feel less alone in the situation when I put it on Instagram, like there was so many of us in the exact same situation. So again, it's just been one of those years, but we're just gonna close the box on it. And guys, we are heading towards 2022. I am so excited. I get so like amped up around like the new year. I just get so excited because I love setting goals. I love achieving my goals. I love like the motivation that comes with the new year. Everybody's so driven and I just love it. And I feel that like kind of vibe on Instagram at the moment. I feel like people are really like engaging and wanting to like know how they're gonna achieve their fitness goals, know how they can smash 2022 because guys this time last year like everybody was kind of heading into the new year and we were in a lockdown like gym goals weren't really at the forefront of everyone's minds because gyms were shut also like health goals and things like that like it was just a bit all over the place because we didn't know when we were coming out of lockdown but this year this year is going to be the year guys we are heading into 2022 the gyms are open we can literally jump straight into our new year's resolutions and our new year's goals on the 1st of January this year. There is literally nothing stopping us. So I thought what better video to do than to come to you guys and bring you a video of setting out our 2022 goals and literally exactly how we're going to achieve them. Obviously these are gonna be fitness focused because that is what the majority of my content is. However, I do feel like with the tips and tricks that I'm gonna give, the ones that aren't fitness based, you can kind of use in anything in life. Like I'm gonna be using them for all of my goals. And trust me when I say, I have so many 2022 goals. Like I'm trying to condense my list because it's a bit overwhelming at the moment, but I just have like such big visions and dreams for this year. I just can't contain it. Like I'm just so like, I feel so amped up, just ready for it. So the reason why I wanted to bring you guys this video and I touched on this in my last Christmas cook along is because for years I would set New Year's resolutions and New Year's goals and they ended up doing more damage than good because I would set these ridiculously unattainable unachievable goals and obviously I wouldn't achieve them and then I would just feel unmotivated sad like I hadn't achieved anything in the year and it was really horrible and I feel like I did this for years like I would just set these ridiculous goals and I feel like I've learned so much from doing that and I've learned so much from setting proper goals the last year and achieving them that I want to just share that information with you guys and help you guys to literally set the best goals you can for yourself and also help you achieve them because guys we are going to make 2022 our year I am so excited my life has just felt like a bit of a dream this year and I do feel like that really comes from getting myself in a really good place for my fitness and my food and that has obviously benefited my mental health massively um but I feel like we're going on a massive ramble so we might as well just like jump into the video properly here so I think it's kind of relevant just to throw in a bit of background information really Really quickly i know if you follow me on instagram and tiktok this will be a bit boring however if you are new here new to my channel basically i started my fitness journey after years i'll show you here of like toxic dieting cycles excessive cardio like spending hours doing cardio in the week running myself into the ground with low calorie diets and punishing myself to try and achieve my fitness goals and i was just caught in this horrible cycle of like toxic diets however i am now currently in the position on the right hand side because i managed to set myself proper goals and achieve them and that's exactly what i'm going to be teaching you guys to do today and i've now got the healthiest relationship with food and fitness and exercise and i've managed to make it into a complete lifestyle for me and that's what i want to help you guys do today and we're going to be structuring your 2022 so you can do that so one thing i think it's important to highlight is obviously i said before how i used to set goals and they would actually end up doing more damage than good i just want to go into that because i think it's really important to look at mistakes made to make sure that you guys aren't making those same mistakes so obviously around new year's everybody sets these like massive goals for the new year um it's really fun it's a really good time to like, do it and everybody has this new kick motivation and setting those goals is actually so so important and determines whether you achieve them or not and um, just let me explain why i used to sit say it's like december time and i'd get my phone and i'd be like right i'm gonna set my 20 i don't know 16 goals and i'd be like who do i want to look like like who am i gonna look like this year like 
who do I aspire to have the body of? So I'd be like, blah, 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 blah. oh, Kim Kardashian. This, this is a true story, people. I'd be like, Kim Kardashian. So I'd go on Pinterest and I'd find like a picture of Kim K and I'd be like, right, set her as my phone background, print out a few pictures of her and I'd stick them like on my wardrobe and things like that. So when I woke up in the morning, I'd look at her body and I'd be like, right, today we're not gonna overeat and we're not gonna eat any chocolate or sweets or anything like that because I want that body. I could sit here and go into the hundreds of thousands of reasons why I will never look like Kim K. But I feel like they are quite apparent, so I'm not gonna bore you guys with the details. That was me setting goals that were completely unattainable and unachievable. I'm never gonna look like Kim K. I could work my ASS off in the gym and I'm never ever gonna look like Kim K. That is not an achievable goal for me. So I was already failing at the beginning of the year because I was setting something that was never going to happen. So that is why it's so, so important that when we're setting goals, we are making sure that they are completely achievable for us and we're not basing them off things like somebody else's physical appearance. So that is why it is so detrimental at this point in the year, pre to January, that we are setting goals that are achievable and attainable for us because otherwise we are just gonna be setting ourselves up to fail and that was what I do every year and I'd go to the gym and I'd get two months in and I'd be like, well, why don't it look like Kim Kardashian? The gym is rubbish, eating healthy is rubbish because I don't look like how I wanna look. And that's because I just was never going to. So that is just the first massive pointer. When you are setting your goals, please make sure that you are learning from that mistake in the past and that we are setting completely attainable and achievable goals. So for this first section of the video, I'm gonna be talking about setting your goals. So how we are gonna set those. And then in the second portion, I'm gonna be talking about how we're gonna achieve them. So the first tip of setting your goals is obviously like I just said, set realistic goals. I'm not gonna go into that too much because I have obviously just touched on it. However, I do wanna add aim high. I'm not saying don't aim high. Aim for the stars if you want to aim for the stars. However, make sure those goals are within reach. So number two, this one is really, really important. You need to make sure that your goal is measurable. If you're aiming to lose 3kg by summer, you are going to need to be able to measure that. And by that, you are going to need to be tracking your weight. If you don't want to track your weight, you can track measurements, you can take photos and things like that. However, you need to be measuring your goal and your goal needs to have a measure on it. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see your progress and how close you are to it achieving it. That one I do think is actually very, very important because I think measuring your goals and having those little check-ins with yourself along the way is what is going to keep you ticking along and keep you going when you see the progress and you see that you are actually so much closer to your goal than you were in the beginning place. Number three, this is going to sound so basic guys and a little bit cliche, but you need to want it. Like you really, really need to want your goals. You are never going to achieve something if you are one foot in, one foot out. Like you need to be two foot in that boat, paddling all the way to your goals. Because honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you, there are gonna be points throughout your fitness journey, throughout your fitness goals this year, where your motivation is going to dwindle. It happens. Also, I've never said the word dwindle before like two weeks ago, and now I just can't stop saying it. Like, I don't even know if that's the right word. So there are gonna be points throughout your journey where your motivation is going to dwindle. And the thing that is gonna keep you going towards your goals is the want for it. Like if you are so driven and so determined on getting that goal, that the morning that you wake up and you feel a bit tired and it is a bit dark outside, it's not gonna matter because you're so focused focused on that goal you're just gonna get up and go so you really need to sit down and like know why you want your goal is it because you want to feel better in your own skin just visualize that and know your why like it's so important to just sit there and be like this is exactly why I'm doing this but like I said on that cold rainy morning you are going to need to know your why that is honestly one of the biggest driving things for me like nobody wakes up and feels motivated every single day that why is what is going to get you to the gym get prepping your meals on a sunday before the week even starts and just keep you going and keep you achieving that goal now i don't know why i'm like this and now i'm going to jump into the main portion of the video which is probably why most of you are here is how we are going to achieve our 2022 fitness goals guys i just feel like i'm going to basically give you a bulletproof list of how to achieve these goals and if you don't achieve them after this video then you need to have a word with yourself because I'm literally handing them to you on a platter right now. So number one, I talk about this all the time and I probably sound like a broken record. Plan, 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 plan. You need to be planning out your meals, planning out your workouts, making them a priority within your week to make sure that you are achieving your goals. If you're sat there on a Sunday and you plan out Monday through to say Saturday and leave Sunday as like a bit of a whatever you fancy to eat or do day and you're planning in all of your calories and all of your macros so you're hitting them every day with your meal plan you're also planning in your workouts so they fit around your work schedule and your life schedule there is there's no reason to not be doing those things if i sit down every sunday and write myself a list of the exact meals i need to eat the exact workouts i need to do to be achieving my goals the world is your oyster if you have that plan like i'm going to say throughout this whole thing it's bulletproof 
like you're gonna achieve your goals if you're hitting your workouts and you're hitting your calories but yeah i think with planning you just need to make sure that you're literally two steps ahead of yourself every single week that way you're going to be achieving your goals that is it for me might drop video done just kidding don't worry we still got some more to go so the second one and i spoke about this but making sure that your goal is measurable if you have fitness goals and your goal is either weight loss muscle gain you need to be checking in with yourself set yourself either a weekly or a monthly check-in this is if you don't have a coach by the way if you are navigating through the fitness world by yourself this is so so useful so a lot of the time you kind of like work out over the month and not feel like you've made any progress especially if the scales are not budging however one of the best things you can do is take videos and pictures so these are literally just as simple as i will actually pop in some of my check-in pictures um literally just as simple as taking these three photos either every week or every month however long you fancy also those check-ins and measurements are going to be so motivating to you like i cannot tell you how addictive it is when you start to see progress in the gym whether that's like building muscle weight loss when you start to kind of see the results of the hard work that you've put in from that point onwards i always find it gets a lot easier because you're like oh, okay it's working what i'm doing is actually working and i can physically see it now so yeah definitely make sure that you're taking check-in photos measurements even videos i'm so glad that i did take them even if you feel uncomfortable at the moment and you don't feel the most comfortable in front of a camera and you don't really want to take those photos trust me when you have them as a point to look back in on time when you feel better and you have achieved your goals you'll be so happy that you did them so tip number three and this is a bit of advice for accountability if you don't have a personal trainer is buddy up i am sure around this time of year if you are in a friendship group you'll have friends that have similar sorts of goals the best thing that you can do is buddy up with a friend and i used to do this all the time when i was younger like me and my friends would like stop running together and we check in with each other but yeah buddying up and finding a friend for some accountability if you don't have a pt or a coach can really really help because it just gives you someone to kind of check in and keep yourself on track with also a really good thing for this that i have obviously found the thing that really helps me with my accountability is my fitness page like having you guys there keeps me in check keeps me motivated keeps me wanting to reach my goals because sometimes i do sit there and i think like oh god like i could have a week off but there's also like eighty thousand people that probably need some recipes it keeps me accountable it keeps me cooking it keeps me working for you guys and i love that and it's really really fun and my fitness page has become something that i could never have even dreamed of so what i'm saying to you guys is if you are struggling with your accountability make yourself a fitness page set up a little instagram it can be completely private you don't have to put it on public it can literally just be for you just to post and check in with yourself you can also like follow girls in fitness communities who are always so so supportive so so if you do need that extra bit of accountability i would encourage you to use 2020 as the year to start your fitness page also just a little side note if i never started my fitness page i never would have done anything that i would have done and i properly started it in january 2021 and it's the end of 2022 i've worked with tala shreddy tiktok my protein i've gone on to do just things that i would never dream of like this is my full-time job now and i only started january so this is your sign to make your fitness account in 2022 keep yourself accountable and you never know what will happen because i definitely didn't think any of this would happen and here i am sat on youtube talking to myself in my lounge so the next tip that i have for you and this is very fitness specific is nail the basics so what i mean by nail the basics is the fitness world can be so overwhelming i used to obviously make new year's resolutions to get into fitness and i would sit and research ridiculous diets ridiculous workouts and i'd be like i need to be doing the 200 press-up challenge where you do 200 press-ups every day like you definitely don't that's not what you need to be doing at all i think the beautiful thing about the fitness community now and like fitness on social media is that there is so much information out there on the basics that you need to be nailing what i mean by nailing the basics is just nailing a basic calorie deficit if your goal is weight loss so i'm going to pop a link down below and basically that is a calorie deficit calculator that one is set up by james smith and it's the most reliable one that i've ever found in order to be losing weight the basics of it are that you need to be eating in a calorie deficit which means that you are eating less calories than your body is burning it is as simple as that you don't need to be eating any fancy breakfast any fancy fruits taking any vitamins or fat burning pills or anything like that you simply need to be in a calorie deficit so i will leave that link down below i'm sure that james smith has way more information on it he is 
probably one of the best like fitness people I've ever followed. He's just so blunt and to the point. So if you guys, I'll also leave his Instagram down there as well because he's got so many useful tips. So I am not gonna lie, I'm slightly hesitant to talk about like nearly the basics and calorie deficits and things like that because I'm not yet a qualified PT. We're on our way there. But I personally don't think having a fitness platform gives you the qualification to just sit on youtube and talk about calorie deficits and give people advice on what they should and shouldn't be eating all of the advice that i currently share is just like off my own experience on my own back however when i am qualified i will be able to give more tailored information because i'll have the qualification behind me and all the education but until that point i'm not going to sit here and go into depth and detail about it because if i'm being completely honest there are far more qualified people out there currently that can definitely help you with that so obviously like i said i will link james smith's page and his calorie deficit calculator down below but that is a really really good one to look at but what i mean by nailing the basics is try and keep it as simple as possible for yourself like i said it needs to be achievable if you're setting yourself a ridiculous regime of 6 a.m and 7 p.m workouts every day for seven days a week like that is just way way too much it's not very basic it's going to be too overwhelming so like i said nail the basics and everything will come from there and you'll just build on from that point so the next tip is a pretty standard one in just kind of general life anyway but i think specifically with the fitness industry and fitness goals is that you need to eradicate competition from your mind your journey and your goals are you like you just need to put like horse blinkers on and just focus on yourself because I think especially when you're trying to lose weight and you want to look a certain way within yourself, it can be really, really hard when you then go online and you see people looking phenomenal like they do when they've been weight training for like five years and it's hard not to compare yourself to them. But what you need to do is eradicate competition and comparison completely from your mind and just focus on you and your goals. A quote that I read this year that's really, really stuck with me is that somebody else's success... I can't even remember it now. <laughs> this quote that's really stuck with me and I can't remember it. I'm going to have to Google it now. I literally was saying this to myself this morning and I was like, "That's I love that quote, so I have to put that in the YouTube video. Yeah. So simple. So let's just pretend that didn't happen. So the quote that's really, really stuck with me is that somebody else's success is not your own failure. And I think if you do have a fitness page or if you are on social media, there is successful people everywhere. Like, especially I found this through like fitness influencing, there is always gonna be somebody else more successful than you. That's fine. Just because they are off doing them and achieving their goals, does not mean that you are not gonna achieve yours. Stay in your lane, focus on your goals, and I promise it will do you a massive world of good. So the next tip that I have is write everything down. I started this book at the beginning of the year and I will link it down below because it's beautiful anyway. And it has like Holly Brooks's journal written on it, which is really cute. Um, so I started this book at the beginning of the year when I had my fitness goals and I wrote everything down and I find something really, really powerful about like putting pen to paper and just writing my goals down. Like it really makes me feel empowered. I don't know if that sounds really cheesy, but I just absolutely love doing it. And with this book, I wrote down everything that I've achieved this year, the goals that I had this year. So the other way that I like to use this is that I have just done some like daily entries over the year as well, which I would kind of write down when I achieve certain goals. And also like check in with yourself in the form of like being proud of yourself. Like I think sometimes when you achieve a goal you kind of sit there and go like oh okay like I achieved it and that's it like you don't really get to express it however I found with like writing it down I can really express how I feel when I achieve that goal and then when I read it back I kind of remember that feeling and it keeps me driven towards the next goal and it's just like a nice pat on the back for yourself as well so I would definitely recommend grabbing one of these and just writing down a massive list of goals for your year and then you can look back at the end of the year and make sure that you've achieved them so one thing that I did with this specifically is that in the back of it I've written down amazing accomplishments I can never say that word in 2021 and I have a list of the dates of things that happened and what they were and like looking back on that list like makes me feel like I can achieve anything and I know this section of the video probably sounds really cheesy but I just think like when I look back at that I think like okay like I did that like I can do anything and this has been really helpful for me and achieving my goals and recognizing my goals as well this year so if anybody is wanting to grab one of these I would definitely recommend it and like I said I will link it down below but it is from Papier, Papier, one of the two and then the final tip for you guys today is that your goals are you versus you that is it. There is nothing that can stand in your way 
but you with these goals when you are doing everything like i've said writing down your goals for the year implementing plans to achieve them measuring them making sure that your progress is consistently ticking along and that you are working towards them there is no way that you're not going to be achieving your goals i honestly want more than anything for all of you guys to achieve your fitness goals this year so you just need to remind yourself that your biggest battle is with yourself in your head and keeping yourself going and keeping yourself motivated throughout the journey and i am going to be here for you all through this year like this year i really really want to elevate my platform in terms of really helping you guys achieve your goals like my goal for this year is to make my platform this just fountain of knowledge for you guys to push you towards your goals and just make them that little bit easier for you but like i said at the end of the day it is you v you it's completely up to you whether you achieve these goals and i really really want you guys to achieve them so if you have taken note from any of these points today hopefully they have been beneficial because like i said it would just make me so happy like the messages that i get that bring me the most joy are when i get messages of you guys like i've achieved my goal way i lifted this today like i am obsessed with those like they make me so happy because i can almost like feel how happy you guys are through the screen and like i said at the beginning of this video when i achieved my fitness goals and was working towards them like the journey to them was just as important as achieving them but that whole process for me was really life-changing and really transformative not only for my body but also for my mind like i've mentioned before and i just want that for everyone because honestly i think that when you do start to work towards achieving your fitness goals and when you do achieve them like you do really get this feeling like the world is my oyster and i just want everyone to have that this year so guys please also comment below your 2022 goals because i would really really love to hear them i hope this video has been beneficial if you have any further questions on any tips or if you guys have any tips you want to share with anyone please pop them down in the comments box below i hope this video hasn't been too hyperactive and just me word vomiting on you guys um and i hope it has been useful like i said but yeah i will be seeing you in the new year for the return of weekly sunday uploads which i'm so excited about guys i have so much fun stuff coming up in january i just cannot wait to share it with you and it's going to be so helpful because trust me if you have fitness goals on the first week of january keep your eyes peeled on my page because i have the best thing that's going to help all of us achieve our fitness goals very early on in the year i can't say too much but guys i'm just so excited but yeah also if you have obviously liked this video can't sign out without saying this please give it a like and a subscribe and i will be seeing you next week for another weekly upload